for you everyone and thanks for being in this uh, session for the last day of the hour. Um, I am Marcos Astro, I'm a research lecturer at the EO Center of Excellence of the University of Cyprus and I'm going, I'm going to present uh, a work that is done with uh, Professor Christos Panayotou and is related to the detection of uh, critical bad claim measurements using professional measurements. <coughs> so uh, here is a Outline of the presentation, a short introduction about the synchronous measurement technology that uh, uh, provides this, let's say, uh, uh, synchronous phase of measurements, the PAB measurements. Um, I will describe briefly the, the proposed detection scheme and uh, what is the problem with the uh, conventional schemes for detecting uh, bad measurements in the system, some results, and then I will conclude the presentation. So, um, synchronous measurement technology, it's a uh, relatively new, I would say, uh, in the market. It is present in the market since the early 90s, and uh, the key element of this technology is the uh, phase of measurement unit, the well-known PMU. Uh, the PMU is a GPS synchronous equipment uh, that provides uh, uh, highly accurate voltage and current phase of measurements, so we are able to measure Angle, which is not uh, the case with the conventional measurement technology, and uh, this uh, PMU also provides uh, measurements in a high reporting rate. So we can have up to 100 pesos per second, uh, and this is also a great advancement in comparison with the conventional measurement technology that uh, uh, we can have one measurement every two to five seconds in unsynchronous way. Uh, in other words, uh, this uh, PMUs uh, provides uh, advanced monitoring control capabilities for the power system operators of the control, control center. Although this is perfect, uh, in, in an ideal world, uh, PMUs uh, might contain uh, uh, gross errors. And these gross errors uh, are due to the loss of GPS signal some biases due to electromagnetic interference with other equipment in the substation. We might have erroneous connection uh, uh, that was due to the uh, installation of the PMUs or even uh, more recent uh, was the cyber attacks. So uh, in order to ensure the reliability of the uh, PMU-based applications to the control center, we need to have a detection scheme a reliable detection scheme to be able to identify these bad PMU measurements. One of the applications that is directly affected um, by uh, the erroneous PMU measurements is the linear state estimator. This the estimator runs in the control center, receives uh, measurements, PMU measurements, and uh, through a well and squares formulation, provides the states of the power system in real time. So the states of the power system is the voltage magnitude and the voltage angle for all the buses of the system. So we can have a wide area picture uh, of the operating condition of the system in real time using PM measurements. And of course, if these PM measurements are erroneous, then the estimated states uh, of, the, of the power system will be also erroneous. One way to detect uh, bad measurement uh, is, is the largest normalized residual test. So this test uh, actually is based on, on, uh, on the difference between the measurement that is received in the control center and the estimated measurement that can be calculated through the estimated states provided by the state estimate. So um, uh, this uh, normalized residual test actually calculate further uh, residual for each measurement, and then um, uh, divide the, the residual with the covariance element uh, of the covariance uh, matrix. If we have the normalized residual for each measurement, and if this residual is larger than a certain threshold, in, in our case, this threshold is uh, three, then we declare the corresponding measurement as, as erroneous. The problem with this, uh, detection scheme is that uh, it fails to identify critical measurements as erroneous. And what we mean by a critical measurement is a measurement that is actually the only one that can be used for determining the state of the power system. So we can have some measurements that if we remove them, 
then our system will be observable and consequently we cannot um, uh, estimate uh, the, the, the state that is related to this critical measurement. And uh, the, the worst thing in this critical measurement is that if they are erroneous, then they affect indirectly the states that are related to this uh, critical measurement. To be honest, uh, this is not a problem with the criticality of the measurements or the case of the conventional measurements. We are talking about uh, power measurements, power flow measurements, power injection measurements, and so on. Uh, but uh, this is a, a really a problem with the a case of the PMUs. We might have several PMUs uh, in, in the control center in the, in the system that would make the power system fully observable but some of the measurements um, will be critical. So we have a lot of critical measurements in the uh, PMU measurements in our system. And this, uh, this um, based on the, on the previous uh, problem of the criticality, these critical PMU measurements, if they have uh, error, uh, they are not detected by the conventional uh, uh, direction scheme. So our proposal here is to use the redundancy of the conventional measurements in order to detect uh, any critical bad PMU measurements. Just to illustrate the problem with the criticality of the bad PMU measurements, here we have uh, an IEEE 14 bus system. We have four PMUs. And these PMUs make the system observable, but at the same time we have critical measurements for the lines that you can see here. So these measurements are critical. And what we did is actually to inject 50% error uh, in each of the measurements. So we have 50% error, for example, for the current that flows from bus two to three. Uh, and you can see that the large zone bar is a residual test uh, that uh, did not identify uh, the measurements as erroneous. So uh, it means that all these measurements, although they are erroneous, they, uh, goes and So this is the scheme that we could propose uh, for uh, detecting um, bad critical PMU measurements. Uh, actually, we assume that uh, we receive conventional measurements in the control center and also PMU measurements. We run a linear state estimator based on only PMU measurements, and, and, then, um, and then through the stage of the linear state estimator, we use the states to calculate the conventional measurements that comes uh, to the control center. So we have the estimated conventional measurements and the actual measurements. We run a, a large normalized residual test. Uh, and uh, whether if some of the measurements or the conventional measurements has uh, a normalized residual large to residual three, <coughs> then these measurements are, are declared erroneous and they are related to the PMUs that is uh, geographically, geographically close to the conventional measurements. So this is how we, we do that. The PMU that has uh, the largest number of the uh, related conventional measurements as erroneous, then is declared as uh, the erroneous PMU. So uh, we take this, uh, this methodology in the, in the IEEE 14 bus system. Uh, we assume not only uh, er erroneous measurements, but also we have uh, errors, uh, noise in, in our system due to instrument transformers and PMUs. And we, we add 50% uh, error to, to the measurements. Just to show the results, uh, what we get here, again, the same case as I showed before, 50% error to each critical measurement. Here you can see the, the conventional measurements that are related to each PMU for each uh, case. Uh, as you can see, uh, for instance, for the first case, uh, six conventional measurements were related to the um, uh, PMU at bus two and the PMU at bus two reports the erroneous measurement and it is detected. And also this uh, has a 100% uh, success rate uh, by detecting PMU measurements as erroneous. So, um, to sum up, uh, we have, uh, a, a, let's say, an innovative uh, way to detect bad PMU measurement just to overcome the case of, of the 
industrial problem with the large normal residual test to, to detect any critical PME measurements. The only requirement is to have high measurement around so conventional measurements uh, in the control center, something that um, it's the case, I would say, in the, in the power system today. So thank you very much. Uh, I would like to ask the questions, just to acknowledge the colleagues that uh, funded this uh, work. Thank you very much. Thank you.